The radiant sky is dyed in red, thus begins the march of the dead. The children gather in joy to mourn, and dance until the dawn is born. Seeking out the final marks, the mighty and the pure, until we find the branded pair, our search it shall endure. The curtain rises on this play, the story of a boy and a girl, mere playthings of fate. Even if you turn to dust, hold on to the fire lit in your hearts, it will become the flame that guides you. Atop the cradle, the two born of the abyss confront each other. The crimson flame engulfs the darkness, and the divine flame is born. His burnt flesh, naught but soot, his sword of burning ice, is born from his heart, glowing like campfire embers, a tempered blade forged from memories. Uh, so we're getting a Luba this episode, um, and trying to do Red Reboot, but I mean, like, this search is a Luba, and this I'm just throwing in the main to see, because we do have a pretty bad matchup against Trap decks, so a main deck out to... Uh, some traps, I guess, might come in handy, but, you know. Um, there's a few reasons I'm doing this. One, I'm cutting the D.Va package, which is the three D.Va and these two, uh, just because it really doesn't do anything for us. Uh, at the moment. Um, while this searches brand of fusion, this searches this, which searches brand of fusion, and this is just kind of to facilitate our play. So there isn't much changes to the deck, it's just kind of getting rid of these five cards, which are good, but like we just can't really make Trishula in this deck anymore. So yeah, that's what we're doing. It's not much. I'm gonna go straight into the games and that's it. Okay, um, so game number one begins, and I chose these games because not only do we actually win the games, but I feel like we actually play the games decently well. Well, we do do a few misplays here and there, but we actually uh, summon our big bodies. Our opponents are Dragon Link, but they brick uh, game one, and I believe they also bricked game two. Uh, they have some interruptions, so they interrupt us a little. They bounce Shiren back to hand. Which is a bit of a misplay because Shiren it can be used on the next turn if I uh, get another monster. I do want to uh, eventually build this deck into more of a tier element deck than a branded deck. Uh, but currently the tier elements are a really good engine. They ash the Shiren, which is something you can definitely do with all the tier elements. Uh, so I normal Shiren and just decide to go into Dweller because that's very good against the Dragon Link matchup. Uh, and they end with double Dark Ruler and um, an Absar Outer in hand. Uh, so uh, in game number two, which we've now transitioned into, um, they open a pretty decent hand. And we can actually activate Hoffiness, which doesn't mill anything really of interest. Uh, the idea behind why I got Tragedy is if we mill it off a TR element, we can search a Luba. A Luba can be normal summon to then uh search the branded fusion which gets our plays started uh, so it does have some synergy but uh i might have to work with it they uh go a point of the red lotus uh, and get merle out of our hand uh but they now know that we uh, actually have K um chaos dragon levy near in our hand which is a big blowout uh, i crack down the uh rocket tracer and that's all that's really needed for us to win that game so we've gone our two game wins, but in return we've had to take a lot of losses. Our match ratio is uh, 6 wins uh, to 12 losses, which I do want to try and turn around. If I, feel like, I feel like what we need to improve the deck is probably a more consistent engine. We have powerful cards in our deck, but we can't really go anywhere with them, especially with... Uh, a lot of searches for branded fusion, but with only one branded fusion once it's, and one Albaz, once they've been used, all of those searches are effectively dead in our hand. Uh, so definitely picking up more of the structure deck will increase our consistently consistency. <laughs> Additionally, more TR elements would definitely make that engine way better, including Kid Kalos. Kid Kalos would actually make the engine worth playing because the ability to actually fuse them off would make it way more useful and. Um, a lot of good products are coming up that can definitely help us out. Uh, Magnificent Mavens um, is really good if we want to go more into the TR element. 
uh, two elements. Um, uh, the upcoming Megatons are also really, really good because they're reprinting a few of the Despia cards, including um, Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, who is really good with the T Element branded stuff uh, because you can fuse away a Despia and a T Element in order to make it, and it's a burn tool that could be possibly used on the opponent's turn, uh, especially with the new Ishizu support. Um, so, and I do want to try and maybe move the deck in a different direction maybe maybe going into punk tr element however for that to happen i do want to know what's happening with the ban list so i'm not going to do anything really substantial in terms of engines with the deck until the ban list is out uh, at this point the september ban list is not out yet um so if stuff get ca uh, like chaos ruler gets hit then I'll know not to move into into the punk engine and stick more to the branded stuff. Uh, but if not, I might move towards the punk engine or maybe the dangers if they go down in price maybe, but I doubt it. There's a lot of different directions the deck can go. Um, and I definitely like to improve it. Um, sorry for this episode not being as long as they usually are. Um, I just generally wanted to get this one out fairly quickly and that wasn't much substance we're just getting a few cards here and there uh, next episode will, will be a bit longer there'll be a deck profile uh, so i hope you enjoyed and uh, thank you